Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 41 of Direwolf20's server play series. I'm ready to do some intangible stuff. That's right, I got a bunch of uh, souls kind of ready to go. I added up everything. Let's see, where is my little thing that I added everything up with? I came to the conclusion that I need 1 plus 4 plus 2 is 7 plus 1, 8 plus 2, 10 plus 3, 13 benign souls, and in total, I've got 15. Because I also need one for the actual process, and I have one extra. So in the end, we should have one benign soul left. Um, we need two immutables, plus one for the process, so I've got exactly enough immutable souls. Um, and then I need a couple malleables, and we need one of each type for the process, so two malleables. So in total, I think I've got enough souls in my soul well to actually create uh, a deity. Uh, the other thing I was supposed to do between episodes, which I, oh, look at that, it tells me right there. <laughs> Didn't even see. I write like I, I like added up all the numbers. Way to go, Direwolf! It tells me right there. Okay, cool. So that's how many souls I need, and that's how many souls I have. So I'm good with what I got. Um, wow. Way to go, Direwolf! I feel like an idiot. To be fair, it doesn't tell you from these sides, and that's a lot of the sides I was looking at. But yes, it tells you right there in giant letters and everything. So way to go. Um. So aside from that, I need to decide what my deity's head is going to look like. Uh, so that should be cool. Uh, I'm I'm thinking I want to go like a kind of like a nature-ish type of theme. So maybe some kind of like tree type situation um, might be cool. And like grass and dirt and stuff. I don't know. I haven't totally figured it out yet. I, I think I'm just going to mostly wing it like I do a lot of the time. So we'll grab a couple of you. Uh, we should have around here somewhere. Ooh, I can get a couple of pumpkins. I can probably get a couple of seeds. I could probably get uh, even some mushrooms might be cool. Some flowers. Um, maybe I could grab some bone meal. I was looking for saplings and I didn't see any in there. I expected them, but I did not see them. I guess I don't really have many saplings around here. Oh, I've got, here's a couple oak saplings. That's cool. All right, so what I'm thinking is um, we get like, you know, some grass growing or something like that to kind of make things look fancy. I got a bunch of bone meal here. We can throw a couple flowers around, maybe even like a couple extra little, like almost make it look natural-ish, right? That would be cool. Uh, we should be able to grow this up, right? This should all grow up here, right? That should be cool. Yeah, nice. Okay. I have no idea how this is going to look. I'll be totally honest. Not a clue. Um, but we're going to try it. Because why not? Uh, let's get a tree in here if we can. Nice. That looks cool, right? Just want to make sure that this doesn't actually go above the line here, and that should be okay. Just like, you know, some simple stuff, maybe a couple flowers. Can I put mushrooms like right under? I don't think so right now, but that's okay. Um, maybe even a couple pumpkins. So like, just like a natural-ish kind of theme to the deity's head. I think that looks neat, right? Not terrible. Doesn't that look kind of cool? I have no idea. It might look good. It might look awful. I I haven't tested this even a little bit. <laughs> um, you might have thought that Dyer would test something like this, but no, I'm good. Um, I wouldn't mind. Do I have like... Just one more thing I want to check for. Oh, I, I could throw a couple cactus in there. Cactus can go on sand, I think, though. Eh, let's throw a couple of flowers. Um, I wouldn't mind. Is it four for a melon? No, I guess it's nine. So this would be like the head, right? So what I could do... Get out of here, spider. Like, this is the way it's going to be looking at you, right? So, let's keep that in mind. So, 
See, that's pretty cool. Melon on the back. What I could do. All right, so that looks neat, right? Not terrible. Uh, maybe one more tree, like right in the back would be cool. So, where are my birch saplings? I would imagine I've got large numbers of birch saplings laying around, but then like I go to look for them and I see them nowhere. So, whoosh. So let's just, just one birch sapling, that's all I want. Thank you. Cool. And we'll get a little bit more bone meal. So maybe like right here in the backish kind of area. Can I grow at this though? Or does it need to be one more? Yeah, as much bone meal as I just used definitely needs to be a little bit lower. Maybe. Just gonna clear out a little bit of space and then hopefully I can get this guy. All right, good enough for me. I couldn't get that tree to grow. I'm sure there's like something going on. Um, let's get this ready to run. So, just need a lever. You don't even put away all this junk that I don't need at the moment. Cool. That looks pretty good to me. Uh, what we're gonna want is a lever. So. Let me put this stuff away. Probably don't need you on me at the moment. Should we create a deity? I think we shall. So if I remember correctly, it's, you just need to get a redstone signal on this thing, so maybe right here would be good. Nice. Now in theory, it should be able to reach over here and get the souls. Right? On the fabricator. I assumed that this would be able to connect across to here. I might need another soul relay. Are we consuming souls? Nope. Let's just double check. Devices, soul relay. Do, 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 do. Thought it was soul relays that I use here. Let me come back in a second, see if I forgot something. All right, guys, I'm just gonna throw down a couple more soul relays just to make things a little bit easier. And just to be safe, let's see. I'm going to activate these with a redstone signal. And give this guy another try. So that, because it's a 16 block thing, right? So there to there, there to there, to there, to there, up to here. That should be cool. Go, souls. There we go. Now we're talking. Sweet. So, all right. Not 100% sure if uh, that was necessary. Yeah, the spinning I think is pretty necessary. So that's probably what it was, is that one there wasn't spinning. So I'm pretty sure I was close enough. Nice. We're creating a deity. Nobody panic. Oh, Lyris, I have awakened. Nice. That is cool. Oh, that is awesome. All right, so that's all clear from there. So I can pick these things back up again. I probably don't need this one to be there, and I don't need this one to be there. And I'm actually going to disable this redstone signal, but we'll leave that there for now. 
nighttime, so I can't fly. I never did get that going a little bit better than I did before. Okay, cool. So we've got a deity. I want to go see how it looks on like the pillar over here, because it should immediately show up. Let's turn you off. Ah, there it is. It's up there. Okay, cool. So that means it's like the most worshipped right now. Dude, that is cool looking. That is awesome. I definitely made a cool deity head. Yeah, because it's higher than the other two, that means that it's like currently the most worshipped and therefore doing the best work. All right, let's sleep through the night and come back and get a temple going and maybe even a couple other things. So we have two options at this point. We can either um, create a shrine and start worshipping the deity or we can create the deity hammer, I think it's called, right? This guy. Um, and start attacking the deity, uh, which will cause it to come down and want to fight me. Those are the two options we have. So we can either be friendly or we can be not friendly. And if we go the not friendly route, um, the deity is not going to be too thrilled. Uh, so deity hammer, working souls predatory three, consume souls predatory one. So we need, for every time we want to damage a deity, we need to have one predatory soul available in addition to the three working souls that it's going to require and one malleable too while we're at it. Um, so we definitely used up a lot of souls. Um, we've got the one malleable, but that's only a working soul. It's not consumed. So that's cool. Um, so let's make a deity hammer. We're going to need the emitter, the golem thrust unit, quantifier. Okay, some things. Let's come back after I craft. All right, so that's this dude. So I've got deity hammer, got this thing, the emitter, got this thing, the quantifier. Now I just need control circuit, two furnaces, and an armor plate. Cool. So that is going to be over in that crafting area over there. Shouldn't be too bad. So that's four stone, a little bit of iron. Oh, wait, I've already got nice condensed stone plates. Cool. So that is two condensed stone plates, two iron. And then I'll need two furnaces. Should totally be doable. Cool. Assuming, of course, that whatever souls I need for this thing to work still float around here. So remember the shaping of this matters, right? So the plates should be next to each other and the iron should be next to each other. Nice. Excellent. All right. Uh, back in a second, a little bit more crafting to do here. So that'll get me that. And then two furnaces and that and the control circuit. Cool. The furnaces should be opposite each other. And the control circuit. Nice. I just love that animation, I gotta say. It is so cool. Um, but that should be about it. And then we just need to get the quartz. Um, So let's get that going, because we're almost done crafting this anyway, so. Quartz I should have some of. I think I picked some up in the nether last time I was there. So that's chiseled quartz block. Does it have to be chiseled? I guess so. Quartz slabs. Made from blocks of quartz, okay. Cool and nice, deity hammer, ready to roll. All right, very cool. I'll uh, we'll put that in there for now. So as I recall, all I really need to do for this to work, to anger the deity and pretty much attack them and encourage them to come down here and fight me, let's fight deity, uh, is hit this thing with a redstone signal, as long as it's near enough to this block. So well, yeah, that sounds like a nice place. So redstone signal, pretty much. Um, we need the plates around it, don't we? Yes, uh, I believe that's the case. So deity hammer. Yeah. Offering plates. So what is involved in making those guys? 
That is just blue gems, gold. Okay, and that makes three of them, so I just need four little gems. Easy peasy. I've already got them on me. Nice. So some nuggets and a piece of gold, and we'll be in good shape. Got gold coins from some kind of thong crafty thing. That should fit. Hooray! Should probably at some point run my quarry again to get more gold, but let's sleep. And remember, if you forget what's on your uh, deity offering, it's uh, ender pearl, redstone, and leather. Sweet. So, ender pearl, redstone, and leather. All right, it was redstone dust, not a block. I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah, redstone dust. Cool. So before I summon this dude, I want to make sure that I'm prepared. So let's come back in a second because I want to think about pretty much what I want to do to make sure that this fight goes well. So definitely want to repair my boots to the Traveler. We're ready for that. Um, what kind of armor options do I have? Like I've got the living armor set, which... There's my helmet and boots. Where's my armor though? Chest plate. There it is. So what kind of protection level we got going on here like this? Probably, and that gives me more health as well, which is nice. So if I wear that full set, and I've still got some movement speed abilities, and I've got some flight abilities as long as it's daytime. So that's an option, right? Um, now, I don't get my regen abilities from that, but I could make sure that I've got my regen spell ready to go, and, right, and ready to run that dude. And regen 2 for 6 seconds should be pretty darn good. The only other thing I might want, can I enchant this stuff? I don't think I can. I'm like 90% sure that I can't enchant stuff, right? Uh, my enchanter's outside, that's right. Don't realize how slow you are without any kind of speed boost until you don't have any kind of speed boost. I still like the Boots of the Traveler a little bit, um, but, so I mean, it does say they're enchantable. Mm, let's see what kind of experience I've got in my thing here. Let's pull it all out, retrieve all experience levels. Eh, barely, barely enough. So that'll give protection three, XP boost three. Nice, I'll take it. Okay, sweet. Um, okay, so I can enchant these. I wouldn't mind more experience. Let's kill some Endermen. Or you know what? I'll just sleep through the night and kill mobs at nighttime. How's that sound? All right. Or well, I mean, yeah, make it nighttime and boom. There we go. I'll come back because I want to enchant my whole living armor set. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, got some experience going. I wouldn't mind just clean up my inventory real quick. That's what I was doing, and I realized there's a lot of stuff I want to put out here rather than sort it. Um, so that's cool. Obviously, I'm going to want to use some spells as well if I can, but if I'm wearing a full suit of armor, I won't be able to use any spells really. So... Maybe I'll put that away, and we'll try it with spells later. This time I want to just make sure I'm well protected. So let's sleep through the night. So the helmet, I'm going to get fire protection, respiration, and unbreaking. Okay, cool, why not? Um, ooh, soulbound, huh? Um, XP boost, soulbound, protection 4, and unbreaking 3. Neat. There's a lot of things on that. And uh, finally, the boots will get me haste three and on breaking three all right i mean i'll take haste three why not dude that's pretty awesome yeah i'm doing all right with that um yes so i've got the extra health i've got all the things i'm gonna want let's put our psi armor away for the time being i like the psi armor but for this fight i definitely want to have something a little bit better and uh we'll have that in there just to save it i'm gonna make sure this thing's ready to go the psi armor piece can go away and we'll put this thing away. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Let's fight a deity. Now, this is as sharp as it can be. So he's going to do 
um, a significant amount of damage. I think we'll try it as is for now. Maybe I'll brew a strength potion if things start to get dicey. Um, Actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? Alright, this fight's a little bit trickier than I had hoped it would be. I'm stuck on a wall. Let's fly around. And my golems. Oh, my immutable golem's not here. That's not good. Quick, let's hide in our house. Ah, I forgot. I need a golem. I need a golem ready. I think I can sneak in here and make one real quick. I'm hiding from you, Avatar. Away! Dire derping it up. Dire derping it up. Away! I can fly. Regening. There he is. He's shooting me with glowing orbs of death. This guy's actually a little bit tougher than I thought he would be. Good old avatars, man. Did I do that wrong? Shouldn't that have made a golem? I did this like two days ago. It's all right. I will blink into here and get one. Because it occurs to me there should be one inside. Oh wait, there's one there. Nice. Okay, never mind. I'm cool. There was one there. Nice. Okay. Derby Dyer. Make sure regen's ready. Okay, that should be cool. All right, let's see if I can take this guy down. Come on, treehead, let's go. Ow, that hurts a lot. getting stuck on things. There's too much stuff around here. Should have fought him in less of a... He regens fast, doesn't he? I could use a strength potion or something at this point. Alright, this might take a while, so I'll come back if something interesting happens. Interesting things are happening. Oh, <laughs> he's getting there. I'm under 300 now, at least. We're getting there, guys. Ah, it's very hard to fight this dude. I have to do this more often? Ah, that's gonna be brutal. He just keeps teleporting all over the place and doing this like crazy fireball in the circle thing. And it's crazy. Come on, die already. You're under 100. So where's my golem? This is the soulless golem, right? We're gonna want him. Ugh. Getting tricky to keep him down. Should have had my soulless golem in my lasso before we started this. Let me keep this up. All right, got the soulless golem in my lasso. That was not easy. 
And I should be able to place him pretty much right by the avatar right when it dies. And I should get a no... Whoa. My what? Oh, I fell from a high place. Nighttime. Got me. All right. Let's, uh... You can see I was trying to cast spells. Like, Smite actually works pretty good on this dude. But he's regening right now, which is bad. Let's see if I can get my stuff back. This is not going to be well written. Ah. All right, let me try and get my stuff. He's so close to death. I could probably use... Oh, my goodness. See what this is like? Let me get a pickaxe next time I die. I know I've got some stuff in here. This is really going to hurt because it means we're going to, like, totally lose progress on his death, but... Is what it is. Let's see if I can sneak past him. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? All right, trying this again. Might want to come back in a second. All right, I got him in my house, believe it or not. Wow, was my sword almost destroyed? Awesome. I don't know what is up with the durability of this sword, but I should be able to kill one guy without running out of durability. Regen on. Got a couple tricks left up my sleeve here. Oh, his health is almost all the way back. That is brutal. Come on, give me the ingot. I'm like repairing my sword, getting attacked. All right, let me whittle his health down again. All right, got him down below 40, 20, 10, 12, 6. Nice. All right, so you should now. All right, look, the Iron Golem. Awesome. Dude, we did it. We've got an Iron Golem with a noble soul in it. How cool is that? Dude, we got it. All right, so that means it's noble soul discovery time. Oh, <laughs> That was a tough fight, just a little bit. So let me go get my glassware, and we'll be back. All right, just clearing all my death points. Don't mind me when I die like six times there. Fun. Uh, so I made a couple pieces of each type of glassware. Let's see. I want to get this guy in here. Come on, buddy. Get in there. That works. Nice. All right, doing the research. Nope, not that one. Hopefully two of each is enough. Nope, not that one. Not spiral either. That means it has to be this one. Okay. Okay. Not spiral, which is not a good sign because I'm running low on extras of these things. Third one's not spiral. Oh, 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 so close. So hopefully it's one of these two. Nope. Nope. Not good. So that means it has to be decanter, right? All right, let me go make one more decanter. Okay, so that should be cool there. That should get me my decanter mold. Nice. And this should get me noble soul research. And go. Nice. Discovery. Noble soul. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. And you go ahead and work your way into my soul well, Mr. Noble Soul. 
Nice. Um, so what I'm going to do is wrap up the episode here. This golem now, which I'm going to keep in this golden lasso, is capable of absorbing noble souls, of course. But now I can absorb doomed souls, which is from killing the wither. That's right. So I can just pop this guy near my uh, dying wither and should this place over here where I've got my wither killing set up. We should, if I just pop him down, like right there, he should be close enough to the wither dying that we should be in good shape for collecting a Doom Soul. Um, however, we've run out of time for the episode. So we'll come back next time. We will do things and stuff. And uh, I should have put my experience away. Uh, there goes all my levels. That's okay. Well, I've got half a level now. I should have put that away before I fought that boss. But you know me, a little bit of a derpy dyer. Um... We'll come back next time. We will uh, maybe get a Doom Soul. I might want to get a couple more um, Noble Souls between now and then. Uh, but we definitely have the option to infuse ourselves with a Noble Soul at this point. Um, cool. So I should be able to just do that and get him going. I don't have any of like the armor from Intangible on me at the moment, but that's okay. So let's see. I think I can still look at what um, spells that opens up for me. Noble Souls, I'm pretty sure, are the ones that you need for flight, right? Um, cool. So there's, um, let's see, Noble Pacify. That's cool. That's one Noble Souls worth. I wish there was a way you could like filter these and be like, just show me Noble Soul versions. Cloud Walk, sneak when airborne to walk on clouds. That's cool. Three noble for flight wings, right? Um, so I don't know how many nobles I'm going to want. Um, I don't really need the flight, though it would be kind of cool to have, um, especially considering I can't fly at night. Two noble can throw a focus creature into the air. Right, focus is one that you're continually attacking. So that's cool. All right. Um, so yeah, let me come back next episode and play a little bit more with maybe intangible and a couple other things. For now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.